I just want to say first of all, like six years from now, I wouldn't have dreamed to be graduating from high school. It's such an honor for what the immigrants and refugee people are doing to show us in the spotlight of what we have accomplished as graduates. I'm so thankful to you guys. And my high school experience was really fun. I had a lot of memories with all my friends, even though we're all going to different colleges. I came here back to the United States when I was a junior in high school. I used to live in Chicago, Illinois, but for four years I moved to Saudi Arabia. A lot has changed. Like, there's a huge difference between going to school there and then coming back for an education here. And it was definitely a struggle trying to adjust back to that and adjust to, like, the curriculum and the environment here. So that's definitely one big hindrance that I went through. As a graduating senior, I think it's safe to say that I've definitely learned a lot through my struggles. I've learned to make new friends and get involved. I played track even though I've never done it before. Um, I've joined a robotics team, which is something I never thought I would be able to do. And I was able to give myself a voice, which is something I'm really proud of. Next fall, I'm going to be going to the University of Iowa, and I'm planning to join a lot of organizations that advocate for people of racial minorities and just marginalized groups in general. Also a good time, good evening, everyone. Good evening, that side. Good evening, our graduates. Yes, we're here for you guys. And uh, it's also a good time and uh, honor for me to uh, welcome everyone for your coming. I kindly appreciate your presence and being here is very, very important to us. And also, you're gonna help me welcome the mayor of the city of uh, Iowa City, uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Jim uh, Tron Go M Mountain. Also, we're gonna also recognize and also welcome uh, Captain Denise uh, Broma Martin, the representative and the chief Judy of Mount uh, of the Iowa City City Police Department, and also welcome Bijou Maliabo, Iowa City Human Rights Commission. Can you everybody give the, just a round of applause to just welcome them? That's so powerful for them to be here. We honor them. We love them. We need public officials for some occasions like this. We really need them and we desire to see them in something like this. So however, I'm gonna also give this time to uh, Dr. Annie. Let me speak a little bit about Dr. Annie. Maybe you guys don't know about her. She's a very powerful woman who remember minorities group. Uh, I came to meet her at Iowa State. No, it was on Refugees Day. And I was giving like a small speech, I was like, what's your name? I'm like, my name is Siri. Since that time, even my, for me doing my master's degree, it is because of his effort. And recently at the Refugees Day, she was also given an award because of her dedication and inclusion for the minorities. So she's a very powerful woman, make sure you know her. And I would like to welcome her. And she'll give her a five minute speech before she go back to Ems. Can you just welcome her? Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Siri, for the very sweet <laughs> welcome and introduction. Um, good evening to you all. And I'm, it's my honor and privilege to be here today. Um, as Siri mentioned last year, in October, I did receive an award as the stewardess for the refugee and immigrant community. And uh, I have since then continued my partnership with this community. I'm extremely blessed. Every time I come here, I take a lot of my positivity from the people. I get energized every time listening to the youths over here. Every time I meet the youths, I just really feel honored to be here. A little bit like, you know, I would like to say a few things. Um, since um, my interaction with the refugee community, I would say, is very limited, it's just been for like the past three years that I have worked. Being an immigrant myself, I kind of connect many of my experiences with the refugee community, but something very distinct that I have learned about the community. Um, unlike immigrant community, like immigrants like me, Refugees, in some cases, have endured years of pain uh, and atrocities in the refugee camp in their country, but they always 
are thriving, always are resilient with the hope to have a home or reach a place where they will be without fear. Just like many of our families, they have dreams to have better life for themselves and their children. And they really work hard to accomplish that, sometimes working so many jobs, taking up so many opportunities wherever they can to see that their children thrive. Just like us and our children, refugee youth are resilient. They are extremely hardworking and talented. And they always, always, if we can, have opportunities to act, give, provide them access to resources, and then they are boundless. They just, you can know that they can just reach anywhere. Um, and most importantly, I feel that refugee community are so hardworking that they can change the dwindling communities of Iowa anywhere they go to. So that's the most uh, impressive qualities that I have learned of refugees. So, um, and since my interaction in 2000. 16, when I first met Siri and Odas, their stories were powerful and empowering. I learned from them so much that, you know, despite having so much adversity of your own, how do you pay back? How do you give back? So that was the most powerful lessons I learned from these two gentlemen here. And since then, we've continued to work together. We've continued to work together in several places. Wherever there is an opportunity that I could provide to them, I took that as an honor to do that. And, um, and it, with great joy, I will say that um, this April, we had 30 youths from uh, Lynn County and uh, Johnson County coming to Iowa 4-H to celebrate, and seven, six year volunteers who came together to the 4-H uh, two-day retreat. It was a great joy, and I feel really privileged to kind of see the, the, the continued partnership. And I hear that today they started forming their club, which is exciting news for me. Um, so I feel that um, the humiliation that they share is something so empowering that I get to, I get energized every time I listen to them, I hear, to, I hear them, and I speak with them. So I feel that uh, we humbled by their compassion and kindness. We can all learn from these youths and young adults and these communities and create opportunities. Um, as an immigrant, as immigrants and refugees, I hope that we remember and appreciate these kindness and we endure in our journey and we leave that for the coming generation for making their lives thrive here because they are a resilient group if they have a little bit of access, they can go far. And I will continue to be an ally of this community and will be my, and in my full capacity work towards it um, in this partnership and improve life and opportunity for them. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Please, again, just a round of applause again. That's so good. Thank you so much. Thanks so much, Dr. Ani. OK, so we forgot one of our officials, the public officials. We don't have to forget those people. We need those people in the city. So um, we're going to welcome again uh, Lisa Green, uh, Doubtis. He's also a Johnson County Board of Supervisors. Can you imagine supervising people, you know? Can we give a round of applause for her being here? I think that's so powerful. And before we also call another speaker, we, we need also to keep in mind that there's some people who organize this, you know? The, the Refugee and the Migrant Association. Please give them a round of applause again before you even forget them, you know? I will, we're gonna keep them, like, you know? Just keep them in their like in mind. Also, why we are here for our seniors, huh? Seniors, are you guys there? A round of applause for them again. Congratulations, you guys have made it. Yeah, yes. Thank you for your coming. You know. So now we gonna we gonna also recognize and hear from um, Toma uh, Jelisha. He's uh, from Ethiopia, and uh, he will be also speaking on the behalf of the parents. Uh, if he's here, he can proceed 
on the stage and they give us, just speak on the behalf of the parents and we'll be also welcome to receive him. Is Toma around? So he, maybe he haven't come, but we can still come back to him. Uh, oh yes, he's here, yes. A round of applause again, yeah. Thank you so much. So he, he will just tell us about parents, you know. How many of you wanna be parents one day, huh? So you gotta listen very careful. Good evening. Good evening, parents, and good evening, uh, uh, respected uh, officials, and good evening, uh, our seniors, who are the honored of the day. Uh, first of all, I want to thank uh, God for this uh, beautiful evening and. Uh, a beautiful uh, dinner and um, celebrations. And thank you, officials, for uh, giving us the uh, refugees for this kind of a uh, nice uh, opportunity. Uh, and thank you, parents, and Thank you other uh, attendees uh, here. And thank you for giving me an opportunity as a parent to say something here on the stage for our seniors. Uh, <clears throat> uh, first of all, uh, seniors, I'm really uh, honored you uh, for doing and making hard to uh, accomplish this first stage maybe and preparing yourself for uh, next stage and the following in the future. Uh, as a parent, we're expecting this. Our children, especially while we are refugee and we hear in our way we're coming to America. It's the United States of America is the land of opportunity. Thank you for uh, sharing that opportunity with you, and thank you for uh, uh, honoring this opportunity, and hope you will uh, proceeding and preparing yourself for more opportunities, uh, being a, a leader of the Africa and leader of the world too. I heard from uh, my experience, many of uh, African leaders nowadays, most of them are uh, educated abroad, like America, Europe, and everywhere. So when we receive this wonderful opportunity in the land of opportunity, we have to be struggle to uh, achieve that goals. And uh, this is what as a refugee, we are expecting as a final, as a general, as uh, parents, our children should be in this way, grow up and uh, putting themselves in uh, a big stage and leading stage, not only leaders, scientists, and other more and many uh, carriers. So uh, I'm really appreciate and honor you tonight, the, our um, seniors. Congratulations, seniors and parents. Thank you for all of you. Thank you. All right, we love you, seniors. Ah, you guys are amazing. Yes. Guess what? As you guys go out, make sure that you have just started. And it's not about what you know, but who do you know? Be nice to people. He may be like sitting close to you. Maybe he's your professor, you never know. So be nice, be nice. All right, so we're gonna also call upon our, our brother, Odas, 
Uh, he's also a student at the University of Northern Iowa doing supply chain, and uh, we also want to hear from him. Speaking on behalf of the graduate, where you guys seniors are heading. So he'll tell you a little bit more about college, like what do you need to know by now? Like what do you need to focus, on? you know? Something like that, you know? How many of you want to hear that? Hey, hey, round of applause, yeah! Thank you very much, Mr. Siri. Thank you for, uh, for having me here. It's an honor. I'm very happy to be here. It's not too long ago that I was a senior before I went to college. Um, I want to congratulate uh, the, the graduates, high school graduates, um, for the hard work you have put in. Um, it's not easy to, uh, to wake up every morning to go to class, to obey your parents, to obey your, the teachers, um, to study. Um, so congratulations to you. Uh, I want to also thank the parents. Uh, I, I, I consider myself as a Mango the graduates as well because I'm, in, I'm still in college. I attend the UNI. So I would like all the seniors to stand up because we understand the journey of graduating from high school. It's, we couldn't do it by ourselves, but we want to honor our parents for helping us. For, for believing in us, for being patient, for all the support they gave us. Can we put our hands together for our parents? Thank you. Thank you. We just started, now we are going to adulthood. We still need your help. So continue to stand with us. I want to share a couple points with, uh, with the graduates. As you go to college, there's three things I think are very important. One is to go to class. In order to succeed in college, you, want to, you must attend class. If you skip your class, it's going to be really hard to catch up. You don't want to play that game. So first thing, plan, always plan to go to class. Do not skip a class. That's the one of the way you will be able to succeed in college. Second, I want to say that Plan everything that you do. Have a plan, make a to-do list, huh? have a schedule of everything you want to do. There's, you have a, so much free time, and so many things are fun to do, but you always want to do the things which are on your plan. So met, learn how to, uh, to plan things, how to, uh, to use a planner, how to create a, a to-do list. Those things will help you. Thirdly, I want to say uh, is for you to get involved. When you're in college, there will, there will be a lot of organizations that will be related to your major, to something you are passionate about. So join those organizations. That's how you'll be able to meet a lot of people uh, who are talking about things that relate to your career, about the subjects you maybe haven't taken, um, about other things you can do outside of your school, about volunteering opportunities, and other things. So those are the few words I would like to make tonight, and thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak today. Thank you very much. Wow, 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 wow. That's amazing. Thank you so much, Odas. We can't really appreciate that. He goes to UNI. Yay, UNI. How many of you are going to come go to UNI? Business and administration, just go over there. If you want to do more agriculture and engineering, Iowa State. If you want to do more medical stuff, go invest of Iowa, my Messi, you know, you know, kind of organize yourself. But one more thing before we call another senior to speak for us. There's a lot of distraction in college. Make sure you stick to the purpose while you are there. Like especially you guys, you did high school here. I started college, I didn't even do high school. My first day in college, I was like, the, in the chemistry class, they say, we're gonna use this table. I was like, what's that? A periodic table, don't tell someone. I didn't know a periodic table and I was in sciences. Can you imagine? It is a big struggle. You guys were lucky, you did in middle school. I didn't even do my, my high school. But I graduated in animal science and meat science and I can't stop there. So you guys need to save the purpose without giving up, especially when your parents did not go to college. It is your first. 
Make sure you have a good mentor to make sure they elevate, inspire you to become someone, a leader and lead others. Don't forget others to any level. Remember others, right? Thank you so much, seniors. And another round of applause for our seniors. Yeah. So we, we, we're going to hear from uh, Josephine. She's uh, from Congo. She'll be also speaking on the behalf of the graduate. Can you just welcome her? <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Hello. Hi. <laughs> Can you guys tell I'm nervous? <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> I'm starting. On behalf of graduates, I want to start out by saying thank you to God for his grace. Oh, oh Jesus. Second, thank you to all of you parents, family members, and teachers who have contributed in one way or another to make this positive end of our journey possible. It has been an amazing journey, and getting at the end needs to be celebrated. Oh, okay. Let me breathe first. Whew. Special thanks to our parents who had endured the hard time through difficult refugee camps. Who, who remember the refugee camps here? Everybody? Me too. It's no struggle. To everybody who was born in America, they don't know how it feels to be born in the refugee camps. <clears throat> Let me continue. We are also proud of our parents for enduring the suffering they faced in, uh, in the refugee camps. Okay. <clears throat> Yellow teachers, I know how difficult it was when we met for the first time. It was not easy, but you did whatever you could to do to make us reach where we are now. You will always be in our mind, and please accept the word of thanks from us. Let's give them a applause. <laughs> Woo! Mm. Dear Refugee and Immigrant Association leaders, this event is a sign to prove how much you care about your community. We are so glad he started with us, hoping that he will continue the class to come. Our contribution today as 2019 high school refugee and immigrant graduate is to be part of the Refugee Youth Bright Future Hope. Thank you also for your support. Another applause, please. Hmm. If somebody told me today, six years from now, how to graduate from high school, <laughs> I think that would be a joke. I'll just laugh at the person, you know? <clears throat> Fellow graduates, we all have a lot of memories together over the course of our high school. Although we have different career choices, we have the same common cause, and that was to graduate. Give them a sound of applause, please. And let me wish a good luck to the ones who will be working hard for 2020 high school graduation. And we'll meet next year for the same event for you. Thank you. Aksante. Merci. Gracias. Aksante. Nashkuru, Murakoze, Merci beaucoup. What else? Gracias. Chill. Huh? 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 All right, all right. Languages are very cool. I only speak seven. I want to increase my language skills. I want to speak at least 20 languages. But the more language you speak, the more it kills your accent. So people are making fun of you, like, look at his accent, you know. But it's okay. At least you speak them. I remember in Quebec, comment ça va? I was like, hey, hey, hey. You know, so language is so powerful. It's good to learn the language. All right, guess what? We're going to just have a performance. So we have a performance here uh, by Refugee and Immigrants Voice Group. So they have prepared something amazing so make sure if you have your camera get your camera ready to record and all those stuff so please with a round of applause let's welcome uh refugee and immigrant voice group let's welcome them a round of applause
Come on, a round of applause again. Wow. All right. Thank you so much. There's a part that we're playing, it kind of, it makes me excited when like, Africa, like, uh, 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 you know, I was like, well, can I jump or can I just dance, you know. So thank you so much, guys, we kindly appreciate. Can you just give another round of applause because that was so powerful. That was good, that was good. All right. It is now the good time for our seniors to come on the stage. <laughs> If you're gonna, like, you know, if you have a mirror, it's like, let me double check with this good light over here. So we're gonna welcome our, the, the president of the, of this organization, the African and the Migrant Association to come forward so he can give forward the recognition of our seniors and also give you guys a salute. You have made it, you know. We kindly appreciate you guys. So let's put our hands together as we welcome our Jean Paul Muge Muzi. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, good evening to everyone. This is a special event for us. Why is special? You know, is you cannot imagine how painful it is for refugees and immigrant parents to hear that a refugee child was caught in illegal stuff. So painful. So painful to hear that a refugee child who's going to school is not getting to school. But she or he telling the parents that I'm going to school, but end up by not going to school. So painful to hear that. And if we can have our children graduating from high school, this is our job. And this is what we are expecting to you guys, from you guys. So we are so and so proud of you. So seeing you, you know, there's nothing inspiring in this world than to see a refugee youth who are ready to shape the world and make a difference. This is so inspiring. If you can look back and see all the things that people went through, and be able to do something today in our lives. See something so inspiring. And this is why always, always, we will say thanks to the Lord, God for his mercy. You know, as many people, they do uh, define the word refugee in different ways. But for myself, I usually say, that a refugee is someone who's given the second chance to live. Because if you can see how many people died, so no one can say that he knows or he knew how to run, this is why he didn't die. Or to say that he knew how to hide himself, this is why he didn't die. It's only a grace upon us. This is why you can be able to stand in front of you guys and speak him. Dear graduates, I may not know how old you were when you ran from your country. I'm not sure if you were born in the United States. I'm not sure if you were born in a refugee camp or born in the way while running. running. I'm not sure. But the only thing I want to tell you is to be able to know why today you can find yourself in the United States and try to talk to the parents. Parents will tell you the story and you will understand how lucky you are to be able to be in this country, to go to great school like this. So you have to take advantage and be able to get where we cannot be able to get 
we as a parents. So our expectation is to see you reaching to the high level. So we are not celebrating this day, telling you that you have reached the top, no. We just want to let you know that you have made a big step in your life, and we want to see you keep moving. And maybe tomorrow we'll be celebrating your graduation from university or college. And then the next day we'll be celebrating the masters. Why not the PhDs? This is what we are expecting from you guys. So we, as a parent and as refugee and immigrant leaders, we are so happy because this event has brought us to the point to understand all the need in our communities. And we are so thankful to all those parents who did reach out, giving us advice, giving us suggestions, what they want to see you know, coming from this organization. And everything, all those suggestions that you did give to us, we did take them in consideration. And we came up with some programs that we are going to let you know about it so that you may know what is next, the thing that is going to follow. But before I can get there, I would like to welcome Captain Denise to come over as a police officer and say something because, you know, you cannot do anything when you are leaving a place where there is no security. A, safe, a place where it is not safe, so nothing can be done there. So everything, if you can be able to stand because we are safe in this country, and so you are inviting Denise to come over and say something. On behalf of the Iowa City Police Department, Chief Matherly, and I'm Captain Denise Brotherton, I want to congratulate the graduates and the parents. It's an honor and a privilege to get through high school. And as you go forward and choose your career path, make those good choices, know that your community supports you. We support you. We want the best for you. And I'm hoping maybe when you look at those career choices, you'll decide to join us because we all need to work together for success and for safety. Thank you. So the next step, we, I'm going to introduce some people with the program that we did create so that we may know those people and anyone who would like to join those program, you are free to join them. So we have a program that we do call Academic Improvement Program. And I'm going to invite Pira to come over if he's here. I'm going to invite Mwangirwa, if he's here, to come over. Oh, he's gone? Okay. So I'm, I'm going to let Pira talk something about the program. Sure. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Thank you again for uh, an amazing evening, and congratulations to the graduates. Uh, a very special night. Yeah, I'm very excited about this, this program. When Jean-Paul and I talked about the, the kinds of things that uh, young folks in the community really wanted, uh, academic improvement was one of them. So I'm really excited uh, this summer, and hopefully beginning in this summer, that we'll be able to work together and work on some of your goals, achieve some of your academic goals. And we'll work on those together. I will learn with you what your goals are, and together we will accomplish them. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to this, uh, very excited. Thank you very much. So we 
years, you know, so like to have people who can support us and be able unless to achieve something. We, I think you guys have seen women in white t-shirts, which is refugee or women empowerment program. So I think that I'm not sure if there's anyone who's here, but I cannot see anyone. So there is a group of, of women who will be working to see how they can be able to help each other. And you as graduates, so we invite you to join the youth group and be able to connect with other youth and see where we can be able to get, you know, to get our community and understand the need which is there. And this is going to help you to know so what kind of school you can you know, you can go for and then be able to help your, your community. I think I'm gonna, without taking a lot of time, I would like to say thanks to the refugee and immigrant leadership for, you know, being always and always ready for anything which is concerning our community and be able to come with something up just to help our community and to be able to celebrate. As I said, you know, we came so far and I believe that now we have reached to the point of celebrating the people that we have become or to be able to celebrate what we have become. So we do not have to neglect any single achievement that we are making in our life. So we have to celebrate it, any single achievement that we are making and be able to support each other and be able to move on. So before I can go to the other step, I'm gonna invite Jennifer to come over and to say something. Hello. My name is Jennifer Vick, and I have had the privilege um, this year helping out the association, um, actually helping with writing a grant that the uh, Iowa City, the um, City of Iowa City, funded for programming. And um, the organization is doing such great work and has had the opportunity to um, implement some really great programs and there's a lot of really great programs on the horizon that they're going to be implementing and you're going to see more and more um, activities uh, from this wonderful group of leaders in our community who are reaching out and helping those uh, within the refugee and immigrant uh, community. So um, we have uh, an opportunity to uh, make a donation to the nonprofit. Um, it's a 501c3 nonprofit, and uh, it, um, it has the opportunity to uh, you know, achieve some of these programs through donations. And so we do have um, some little uh, donation envelopes here today. And I'm making a donation today and just inviting you to join me um, if you so wish to make a donation to the association. Um, this is a great little opportunity to fill out some information on this envelope if you would like to be kept up to date on the new programs that are coming out and the current programs. Um, and you can, if you choose to make a donation, you can make a donation by uh, cash or you can write a check or uh, they take credit card information also. And so uh, giving a lot of opportunities for you to get involved with the association with your support, and it's greatly appreciated. And I would love any of you who would like to join me in supporting this organization to please do so. Thank you. Yep. Thank you very much. Now we are going to the next step is to 
I ask you to all graduates to stand up. So yeah, thank you very much and congratulations. So we're gonna call the names. We we made up some certificate for you guys, and this is something that you wanna keep and be able to remember that. Everywhere you will be, in everything that you will be doing, keep your community in your mind. Because the value of a person is not what that we have, but the thing that you will be able to do to others, that's your value. And uh, it may happen that some of you, we didn't get the names early, but if you are not called, make sure that we will make sure that you get your, your, your certificate. So we will send it to you. Don't worry about it. As you know, it was sometimes complicated to get all the names. That's why maybe we may call some people and then some people they are not on the list that we have, but you are not forgetting you will get the certificate. And we, we are missing our people from Sudan who was not able to show up because of, thing, of the things that is happening in Sudan. You know that they have killed a lot of people and they decide to take the time to be home, you know, being able to show their compassion to those people who have died in their country. So this is why you don't see Sudanese in this event. Otherwise, they could be here. So we're going to start by the first person who is Anastasia <laughs> Mwenekam. So, Congratulations. So you can choose any side that you like and vote this one. The next person is Maimuna Sol. any shit you like that. Priscilla Blay. And the, the following person is Kate Salazar Bacho. Is she here? Congratulations, thank you very much. Asyata Uba. Sophia Antoinette. Sophia Antoinette. She will be followed by Jos Wakani Git Gitwa. Bofis Ilitelu. Is Mbuzi. 
Messi Steven. Messi Steven. Priska Kahiku. And Jackie. Rose Ndobesa. Congratulations. Munyapara Alfani. David Nyo Ngushima. David Nyo Ngushima. Badar Kalal. Uh, congratulations. Uh, yeah. Maria Kikuni. Followed by Priska Namu Chiboy. Then Victoire Ushindi. Congratulations. Merci Sikitu. Josephine Pongo. Sally Rasin, Jos Birindwa, Marie Fat Kikuni, Dona Asa, Deborah Kavira, followed by Rhoda Darlene, Rhoda Darlene. Monique Molekwa. Nyiyongushima David. I think that's the old name that we we had. And anyone who didn't get his certificate, so you can get a t-shirt and then we get a certificate emailed to you, mail to you guys. And I said we are so happy and uh, according to the program that we have and the time that we did take for this place, so we were thinking that we, can, we could have more time to celebrate dancing, but I'm not sure that we are going to have that time, because I see like the time is flying. 
And this is a big challenge that we have, we as refugees and immigrants. And this is something that we have to support each other so that one day we can have our own center. Because it's possible for us to have a place like this. It's not impossible. Yeah, as I was saying, this is not impossible for us to have, you know, a space for like this for ourselves. And then we cannot, we can be able to celebrate from any time to any time we like, you know. It's just a matter of supporting each other and then be able to to get where we would like to get. That's why I'm asking everyone who would like to to join the committee that is working on having our own center to be able to join and see at least after this year we can be somewhere because we have to get our own space without having like a tension of time you have to be start this time and then to end this time and knowing that we still have the issue to respect the time so we have to be a uh, very, very serious and be able to have our own, our own place. So I have some names here that I'm going to call even if we don't have the certificate, but they can have T-shirt and then the certificate we're going to send to them. People that are here, we have Elena Carbona. So she should be followed by Johanna Niragi Bagira. And Emmanuel Kabagiza. Then Boaz. Boaz. Kongera, and then Anna Damut. I think I'm gonna stop by here and leave the, the space to Siri. Wow, a round of applause again. Wow, 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 wow. All right, thank you so much. Hello, Siri, are you guys there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, did we left anybody behind? Because, oh, who, who's that? Oh, Gina, can you come forward, please? We don't want to leave anybody behind. You are here. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. So, sorry about that. It, it happens. Our emails and stuff like that, names. All right. Okay, so before we can get to the end, I would like to say thanks to our sponsors. Starting by the UNA, Joson Cat Chapter, and the University of Iowa Community Credit Union. Then the high school, the Iowa City Community School District. And thanks to the Hills Bank. And then we are so happy 
and so happy for this event to have one church who have supported this event. And this church is created by leaders from Africa, which is African ministry. So we are so and so thankful. I don't know if the pastor he is here. Maybe I can ask him to stand up. If the pastor is here. Thank you very much. And then thanks to the Western Insurance Company. And then to end the program, I think we're going to have only one song where all of us we can stand and then we can celebrate together. So today is a, a very special day for us, a day that we are celebrating the World Refugee Day, and especially the day that we did take to honor our children who did finish from the high school, so the 2019 class. So we are so happy to see our children graduating from high school, and we hope that they will keep going until they get to the normal masters, even the PhD. So we want to see them succeeding in, in their life. And this is why we are taking this event to be a very important for us to be able to support our children in what they are doing.